is Danger Canadian Content Productions, live from tonight, the Horseshoe Tavern, in partnership with the Factory Girl Gastro Pub on a Danforth. I'm the Moose, and today we're talking to Jimmy and Tal from the Ascot Royals. Welcome. Thank you for um, Let's start gigs. We seem to see you absolutely all over the place, from El Macambo, you're, we're here and you're here in the Horseshoe tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Previously, that indie week, you were part of that opening party as well. So this is obviously, you know, this is a big part of what, of what you're doing. You know, getting 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 out to people. But you're not also be, you're not based in Toronto immediately, are you? You're based outside. So, yes. so you're based in Toronto. Right? I'm okay. the one guy who's like, I, I live on the Go Train. All oh, right, okay. I go see the, the guys live in Brantford, mostly. Yeah. So I just yeah, I just travel back and forth. And for whatever reason, I'm still stubborn enough to live here. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> but, it, but it's obviously a journey then for the rest of you guys to, to come in. That's why we wanted to try, that's why we changed venue for this, obviously, yeah, yeah. to try and make sure that it works yeah. in, in the great scheme of things. Um, but with regard to those live performances, you give absolutely everything. I don't think we've been to a gig where you haven't been basically full out, top art, you know, really just going for it, you know? And it's very easy, I think, if you come, you know, you travel distances, particularly if you're backwards and forwards on the same journey, not to have that energy. Is, is it difficult for you to get up, to get on stage? I mean, um, you know, to, to just to get excited at all or not? It's one of those where we kind of, we, that's like our favorite part of the whole thing is performing live to, uh, in front of people, whether it be 10 people or like 2,000 people say the yeah. Phoenix. Um, it's one of those though that we just kind of, just, it's weird. I'm sluggish the whole day. Right. And then it will come to the gig time and then all of a sudden it's like just a switch that goes on and it's like, yeah. these are my four best friends, let's have some fun with it sort of and end up super sweaty by the end of it. So. Well, well it's, it's, I mean, I think the last last time, the last time we saw you would have been for the, in the Riverley. Yeah, okay. for, for, and that was, uh, that was a hell of a fun show, very, very different show. Yeah. I spent in, well, we spent the whole night in one venue. So we saw everybody rather than run backwards and forwards. We think that does people proper credit, yeah? But yeah, it was uh, after you guys. There was one more band on, and I was I was like you. At that point, I was hot and sweaty and tired. Yeah, and at that point, yeah, I gave yeah. up and went home. But um, but when you're in when you're in the Riverly and in other gigs as well, you've been debuting new material as well, haven't you? To yeah, is that, is that are you using the gigs to sort of sound test that with audiences? Or? Yeah, it's it's a great test pilot for these songs just to read the reaction of what happens when when we play it if, it, if the whole crowd falls silent like maybe back to the drawing board with that one but um but, so you've, far, so good. but you've gone specifically further than that though because a lot of the stuff on your first album you haven't been doing you know you a lot of your material is brand new material so does is, is that because it's driven obviously the what the audience might not know is you had your, your van stolen all your gear stuck all your gear ripped off yeah. that experience has that been is it it's been that much of a cathartic experience that the new material is, is mean, means more in, in some well, ways? I think a lot of the new material, a part of the, the big change that we went through was also there was a, there was a personnel change. Uh, we Back then, when we recorded our, new, our, our first album, it was totally indie. We just did it ourselves, basically. Um, we had a different bass player, so right. th there was a different dynamic when it came to writing, when it came oh, okay. to everything. And while we love those songs and we still there are a couple of songs that we still play from the first record mm. uh, when we play longer sets um you know unfortunately we're still at the stage where we're playing you know the longest sets we'll play would be 40 50 minute sets which with you know talking to people with some crowd interaction with maybe throwing in a cover it doesn't leave a lot of room and we try to bring you know i think we always feel that the new things we do are the best and we just want to play our best. So that's that's and that's that's a really important point because it is you say it is a it, one. It's a cathartic. Probably wasn't the right word I was looking for there, but it's a, one of the transitional experiences when when something really bad happens. I had all my gear ripped off in the UK. Okay, yeah. so all my stuff, when my light show and then my speakers and everything, yeah. just went in one night. And I never saw it back. And curiously, the police offered to arrest me uh, when I reported it, but that's another story <laughs> over lots more beers. But, but, the, but the thing is, it, because of that, you know, you then become a different, you know, yeah, it's, exactly it's then, then a different thing. But also the chance, I suppose, of playing your new songs and repeat, you know, just road testing and make sure they work, tweaking them where you need to is, I don't think there's anywhere better. I mean, I think you come up with great ideas in the studio and songwriting, but it's only when you see them go down live that that really nails them down. Is that, is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's just a lot of fun. There's like a light that goes on. Right. When you're doing it, it's just remembering the past and then going through and uh, hoping that it resonates well with the audience just right. as much as it does in the jam spot when we're all sort of digging about playing it and 
Well, the beauty of it is you're playing to so many different audiences. I saw you in the um, first Canadian place at the lunchtime session yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I was. There's, there's another story to that, but it was a really, you know, that was a. You're, you're playing to people quite clearly are walking past and going on their lunch runs. This is a really bizarre. It's a great gig. Don't get me wrong, but it's really bizarre. Yeah, it, 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 it was very, so very bizarre. It really is. Because you know? I mean, for us, we're you know, like a <coughs> venue like the Horseshoe or like you know the Phoenix that we played this year, like even like the Commodore out in Vancouver that we played this year. You know, we got to experience you know and check mark some of our favorite rock venues in, in Canada. Yeah. And that's that's where we thrive. That's where we feel the most at home. That we know what to give the crowd because we know that they're looking for what, what we have. Yeah. Um, that's the kind of you know uh, demographic that we're playing for. But playing in in first Ontario place, <laughs> the people on your lunch break are probably just there from work. You're thinking like, man, we're either gonna be too loud or just too out there for them, and you never know how it's gonna go. And I I, I remember looking up because you can see you know the second. There's floor. another there's another level, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. And people are just looking at, and they're taking videos of their friends. I'm like. I, I, this is great people are just sticking around for us and it was i don't know it's like you're playing and you're also assessing the situation it's it's very it's kind of trippy i don't know it, well it's, it's, it's funny because it is an opportunity it's definitely an experience yeah. but it's definitely an opportunity as well i brought a couple of buddies along from from work and again this is this is what this is how it works isn't it you know you, well, you know you guys you bring somebody else yeah. next time around they'll bring somebody else yeah so yeah. so it works with that just to move on for the for the music for the music piece um well, actually, no. Before before we do that, tours and, and, and more gigs. Uh, we'll get to a new album in a minute. But are you looking to do more? You're looking to. Are you playing more? For, are you playing festivals this summer? Starting to starting to wrap yeah. up with that. Yeah. We've got um, Sound of Music next weekend. Right. Yeah. And then uh, what else do we have? We've got, we've got a right. Sturgeon Fall Rip Fest. Oh yeah. Okay. Great we'll festival for vegetarians. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Excellent. Uh, well, we're uh, we're also playing. Uh, we have a. We have a date in August that is. Uh, I'm just gonna say it's a it's a CNE date. I'm okay. not gonna say exactly what it is. I don't know if we're allowed to announce yet. Okay. It's pretty big show. We're super excited about it. If you're at the CNE this year, come see us because okay. we're gonna be there. Excellent. Um, then we've got a bunch of other uh, shows that are getting uh, just like final and confirmation. Right. But there's plenty more gift coming up. Uh, we just we're just coming out of a, a two and a half month tour that we did earlier on this year with the uh, opening for Big Wreck. Yes. Which was yeah. incredible. Yeah, and, that was a lot of And fun. it kind of put us in a, in a place where we're like, give us more. <laughs> give us <them> more. <laughs> but that's, that's the point. You create the need, uh, both both from yourselves, but from an audience as well. Yeah. So how does that leave you enough studio time then to, to record a new album? And, and is that, you you've got new songs, to, but recording a new album is a different yeah, process, yeah. right? You, you kind of have to just force the time we have. It's literally like blocking out dates to be able to go, okay, here, this is the day that we'll come up to Toronto work out the bare bones, get the, the kind of concept and then slap the meat on right. on that jam that okay. week. Because we're still jamming like once a week. So I think, okay. And it's a, it's a heavy session of jamming and uh, it's really fun. But it's, cool. We fight time. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Cool. Excellent. Well, we look forward to the album when it arrives. Um, as I say, what we're going to do now is move on into the speed round of Doom. Cool. Uh -oh. So you'll have to answer that you can answer this collectively or individually, <laughs> depending on how you go. Um, <laughs> which pizza would most clearly describe your personality? Why? I was going to say that, but the vegetarian version. Okay, all right, fair enough. Yes. Pineapple and pineapple. Pineapple on pizza. If you don't like pineapple on pizza, beep you. It, it's great because there, there's going to be, like, there's a huge debate always in the band van whenever we're ordering yeah. pizza. So you got us. There's like a line down the middle of Tal and I and the rest of the guys. And we're on the right side of the line. Yeah. Right. The, 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 fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. So there's a, there's we asked this question last year in a different way, but there's a there's a program to Mars, a one way program to Mars, and rather than say we'd like to see another celebrity dead, we'll just say it's a one way trip. So of the of these following celebrities, which would you like to see on the Mars trip? The Mars trip. Right, Van Morrison, Johnny Rotten, Kanye West, Bob Dylan, or Sting. So are we sending them away? You're sending them on a we'll one-way trip to Mars. Away. We're not saying they're going to die, just that they know that they're going on a one-way trip to Mars. I don't know. That's tough because I feel like all of them have something to... Even Kanye is, is kind of off the rails as he went. I feel like there's there's still a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff. I can't send Sting there. away, I'm sorry. Sting? You can't send I, Sting. I, I'm vetoing Sting. Okay, right. He was a, he was a very popular one, I have to say. Uh, I like Dylan, but I feel like he's just mumbling through his shows now. 
So perhaps he could go and mumble on Mars. I don't want to send. I don't want you to don't want to send him. him. If you can't send someone, then that's fine too. All right. Think, yeah. Okay. But if you change your mind before we get to the end, yell yeah, at me. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good one, man. That's so a good one. in a fight, who would win? A silverback gorilla or a hundred midgets with knives? Hundred midgets with knives. I think. Yes. Yeah. I tend to agree. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, maple syrup. <laughs> Overpriced or overrated? I, I recently found out that there is a maple syrup mob. Yes, so there is. is there? I would say apparently there is. Yep. Yep. Um, high chase speeds, hop top on double doubles. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Uh, I'd say a bit overrated because yeah. I do enjoy it, but it, it gets a bit much after. Fair enough. Like every once in a blue moon, I like it. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting one because I'm going to ask you how you describe each other because we haven't done this one before. So how would you describe your? How would you describe each other? High maintenance, low maintenance, or high maintenance but think you're low maintenance. <laughs> Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Just before a set too. <laughs> nah, you got to be mates when you get off stage as well. Okay, yeah. yeah? Um, Low maintenance, I think. Yeah, the same. I, I think I think we're, we're both very low maintenance, and I mean you didn't give us any other options, but I think there. This is something that goes to our entire band. We're all pretty low maintenance as long as we're together. Yeah. On the road. Yeah. Fair enough. As yeah. as soon as we get off the road and we have like a couple of days to ourselves, shit gets weird. So I, <laughs> okay. I don't know if I'm allowed to swear. But no, you can. You okay. can say whatever you want. Shit, fuck, pussy. Sorry. Uh, yeah. As soon as we get away from each other, we become. The jealousy kind of creeps in. Yeah, it's yeah. just weird. Who are you hanging out with? Who are you playing with? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Okay, this one should be um, reasonably quick, Hope. Penguins or scorpions? Penguins. Penguins. I penguins. Like penguins. penguins. Yeah, so, okay. And the last, lastly, <laughs> which vegetable would best describe Toronto? Ooh. There's a vegetable outside, out there somewhere and vegetable. people think immediately think of Toronto when they see it. What's that going to be? You're the best for this one. Vegetable. Vegetable, yeah. Vegetable. I would say... A stiff carrot. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, artichoke. 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 Many, yeah. many layers. Yeah, I like many that. Many layers. Yeah. That's a um, superb answer. Tough exterior. Mm-hmm. Uh, very warm, hearty interior. And... Uh, <laughs> With the right ingredients, could be very tasty. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's so, that's a that is quite. Toronto's simple. an artichoke. Toronto's an artichoke. Yeah. And on that on that very <laughs> flavorous <laughs> note, we got to say thank you both, to Jimmy and Tao, for, for us, being yeah. with us. Details of the band are, are up in the credits as they go through, as well as the details. Uh, thanks as well Just to the Horseshoe and to Factory Girl for looking after us as well. Thank okay. you, Yeslin, for shooting. Uh, subscribe to the links. DCC Just are in there as well. Thank you. Thanks. Good night. Thank you. Time to forget your fears Everything's right